Every one of you watching this screen, look out. Anything can happen in the next half hour. What did I tell you about cartoons? They've got a lot of brains, and they've got a lot of kutzpah. Tell me how comic books make you feel, Dave. Surely you can't be serious. I am serious, and don't call me sure. Hello, this is Franz Cantor, cartoonist, illustrator and toon talker, and I'm here with... Jim Bridges, and I'm the president of the Australian Cartoon Museum here at downtown, downtown Docklands, Melbourne. And even down out Docklands, <laughs> Melbourne. Downtown. And down and out. So yes. today we're looking at uh, George Finey, and um, he was 36. No, that's three and six, three shillings. Well... There's the and date, sixpence, June which is 1931. Um, 35 This cents. is a historic document because it's 1931, but also it's an art magazine. They didn't have many art magazines in Australia, and they did the whole issue on a caricaturist mm -hmm. in 1931. Because he was a sports caricaturist? No, no, because he was that's so a, bloody good. No, that's a self-portrait. That's, that's no, a self-portrait of George Finey. That's him, right? And he, he copied from the sports caricatures, but I'm just saying it's so unique that an arts magazine with all the snobbery to do with cartoons and caricature, that they, they put him in, in the only art magazine that was really coming out. Um, and it wasn't a big glossy magazine like they have today, these big glossy art magazines. Yeah. So, 1931. Contents. These are going to be a lot of these people. Oh, yeah. good, they've got names of them. Well, yeah. There's the Premier of New South Wales, yeah. the Honourable John T. Lang. Yeah. J.T. Lang. Jack Lang. And he um, he opened up the bridge in Sydney, and that's what this that's what he, this is The implying. Harbour Bridge. Yeah, that's what that implied. Um, yeah, so, yeah. Um, um, this, is a, a, this is stuff about him, about the history of caricature. Um, Finding the caricature. Yeah. Uh, he used to work for Smith's Weekly and all sorts of places, other places. Um, so, yeah, his caricatures were published in newspapers yes, in, in, in Melbourne. Yes, in uh, Smith's Weekly, which we must do a thing on. Smith's Weekly was one of the most extraordinary newspapers of all time. Yes, it I like used, the chips. It chips used here. cartoons. It used cartoons in a way that... There were cartoons virtually on every page, on every subject. Mm. Um, now, this guy had something to do with... Now, the thing is, all the people you're about to see, no one knows anymore. That's fine. But the point is, he's, he's turned them into pretzels, but he's, he's retained their, their humanity. Now, all these lines are to do with this guy worked wireless. in radio. He worked in radio. So these are... Wireless yeah, signals. Yeah, all these, all these you know, signals, yeah. Um, this is... Um, uh, an auctioneer and a member of the Brisbane Yacht Club. Look at the neck on him. And he, he does your trick, um, um, France. He, it he, just makes it... Uh, he puts them in a frame. Yeah, well, I used to do that because it yeah. makes it look neater in the newspaper. This is Barney Allen Esquire, ex-books maker of Melbourne and Sydney. Mm. Just look at that eye, that sly eye in there. And See, the eyes don't always match up. Mm. And look, he doesn't care about the ears, he just blocked in. You know, and all the stuff about the shadow under the eye, under the hat brim. Mm. Yeah. This is 1930s. Yes. Actually, like 20s, a lot of this would be 20s. Uh, most of this would be 20s. It's the roaring 20s in yeah. Melbourne. Uh, well, I want to read this bit out. Oh, this is Otto nightmare who came over from the British banks and he tr basically told Australians that they've got to pull their, their belts in and um, start, you know, yeah, saving up. And Jack Lang, who you saw before... Because of the Great Depression. Yeah, but because um, we owed him a lot of money because of the First World War. Finally, the last and far ahead of any of his Australian contemporaries is perhaps the most fantastic of living caricaturists. Under his hand, the human countenance becomes elastic. 
Without truce or mirth, without truce or mercy, he shapes it anew, yet preserves a curious memory of the original. Unlike Will Dyson, who by the way has great admiration for his work, Finey is content with externals. With prodigious legimen, he moulds, twists, pulls out, thrusts in, thumps, bumps, flattens, or inflates the human face in such a variety of shapes that he has you laughing before you realise the subject. His line is no arbitrary boundary. It has life and plays spontaneously, spontaneously at the dictates of his imagination. In Finey, you have always present the clown, the nihilist, and the fantastic imp of the perverse. Well, there's a few words I don't know what they mean, but this is one of my favourites. This is... Um, Sanderson Taylor. A well-known Australian journalist and editor of the Brisbane Courier Mail. Mm. And look, see how their eyes are... They're not... This is just sagging they're to They're not the, symmetrical, yeah. Yeah, and the whole... The whole well, once you get a shape, like an organic shape like this, which is uh, nice and interesting... Yeah. Um, ..and not symmetrical, you must always... Uh, I think he, he's a, an exemplar of this uh, practice of making sure that you stay away from things that are symmetrical yeah. or mirror image. <laughs> well, so. I mean, this is a lot more symmetrical than this one. It is, but even within the shapes yeah. themselves, they've created shapes that are asymmetrical and break the uh, the boring, you know, symmetrical. But even rule. if you shove this eye up a bit there where it's supposed to be, the whole head is all going over to one side. Well, it that's the, the whole idea of sets up this, yeah, sets caricature up this, sets up new yeah. parameters, new shapes. Yes. And you draw, you put in the details that yeah. you require yeah. to get the to keep the likeness. In new new areas. Yeah, but but the head goes off to the left. Yeah. Well, proportion, yeah. proportion, shape, yeah. um, perspective. All of these things are not. They're not rules for caricature. They're rules to be exploited, yeah. and bent, and changed. I'm pretty sure with this guy, who is the late Honourable J. E. Hode of Junee, New South Wales, he was a member. He was yeah part of the upper house with the first land government. Now, the eyes <laughs> cross eyed. But this is very Tucker, isn't it? You know Tucker of these bush, you know, with the... the bush Tucker? No, the painter. All right. Albert. Albert Tucker. Yeah. He did... He... Don't say Tucker, it makes me hungry. Yeah. You can see that the eyes are, are um, askew. Yes. And even the eyes are askew. Yeah, yeah. he did a lot. And there's a reason for that because what happens is there's a lot of lines, um, curvy, curvy lines, and uh, that... Um, is the actual rhythm of a painting. So yeah. when your eyes follow these curves, you know, they they have a very sort of um, um, interesting effect. A sort of, you know, it's like the rhythm in a in a in a musical piece. Well he's really tearing his carried through to he, the end. He's really tearing this guy a bit with, with, with this, but at the same time, I don't know, you sort of he retains their humanity. Um, and this guy looks like um, he's made of sausages, doesn't he? Well, he likes their expressions. He's, he's yes. really inter interested in their expressions and also variety. He sort of, you yeah. know, even this, like to do it in a sort of a lady's, yeah. um, uh, what do you call it, a PowerPoint, not PowerPoint, needlepoint, uh, oh, well, round yeah, composition but, like that. Yeah, but see, he doesn't even have to draw him. He just draws his mouth. And this guy obviously used to wear a floppy hat. He was a bowls champion. Yeah. And this guy, look, he this looks... Is the eyes bulged and moved yeah. down in parallel with the nose yeah. and of course you know the this is like a great example of uh, what the caricaturist has seen as a possibility for exaggeration yeah. in the face itself i hope you guys the monitor is actually picking up a bit of a moray pattern because of the printed dot here yeah so i hope you guys are, are uh, yeah. not uh, yeah. affected by that but that's a moray when the stars set the fire, oh, sorry. Anyway, he looks a bit like our present Prime Minister, doesn't he? It's Lawrence Ennis, Esquire, Chief Construction Engineer. You could get a potato and put glasses oh, on it, no, and no, that no. would be our that, Prime that's Minister. That's someone else. That's someone else. That's yeah. Dutton. So, well, yeah. that could be Dutton as well. Now, look at this guy. This is a nice sort of lemon puss. Yeah, nice tiny brown, little mouth, tiny little mouth there. Yeah, yeah, because caricature isn't about making yeah. uh, sizes big. Whereas this mouth it's goes about up, this all the way down. Relationships there. between the elements. The mouth goes up and it goes so down. So it could be 
you know, normal sized ears, uh, st- strangely truncated nose, tiny eyes, tiny mouth, big chin, big neck. So these are things that work in sort of a, in a, in a symphony. So you've got different sections of the symphony. You've got the strings and the woodwinds and the brass. Okay. And they all sort of come together to give you a nice uh, um, tune. And a, nice, pic- a nice tune. Where, 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 that. Where's the piccolo? Where's the piccolo? On the next page. Oh, okay. I love the hair. Look at you shooting all over the place. Yeah. So these are uh, cro- these are drawn actually hand drawn frames. Yeah. Usually, so that they um, sit balanced in a page in the newspaper where you've got a lot of columns and rows of copy. They don't like it when you're too crooked with the lines. Because it kind of throws off the composition of the page itself. Now I don't know anything about this guy. This is a Goethe guy. Yeah, no, this guy. I don't know anything about this guy, but the pitch is telling me lots, lots. Um, yeah, he's sort of this like is collapsed li- on himself, hasn't he? <laughs> he's he's a, he was a Lieutenant Colonel Bruxner, DSO, MLA. He looks a bit colonel-y. He was a dis- very distinguished, remarkable uh, war record, but he was also a pastoralist, which meant he was a farmer. Oh, yeah. And, and this guy, this guy, he, he's the main engineer for the Sydney Harbour Bridge. So, so oh, well, that's where it's coming from. So he's got all these girders not... just coming straight out of his head. I mean, look at the imagination of the of of, of, girl, yeah. of, of uh, I love the expression. Yeah. yeah. So the use of these, you know, expressions are great um, uh, entrees into what you can do, what the possibilities of face. Look at this one here. Yeah. It's sort of like Very somebody pompous. falling asleep. He's yeah. actually caught that yeah. and created a caricature with that. This is the, so he would have hated this. Uh, this caricature. is the Archbishop of Sydney, uh, Michael Kelly. Yeah, he would have hated this. He would have hated that. He would have loathed yeah. it. He, he got, he got stuck again, into the church finally. Finally, because he's got like a. He, he's very experimental, not just with shape, but also with the effects. So this yes. is a bit of crayon in the back here, yes. and uh, this is some softer crayon over here. So he'll use different materials. I don't think any of the originals of these survive, so Probably you can't really not. see. But obviously, he did stuff. Um, oh, now hang on. For instance, this guy, he was an auctioneer, mm. so he's given him he's given him uh, four eyes because an auctioneer has to see things, you know. Good. So he's just added an extra eye. That's the sort of character he was. Ah. I love the way he fitted the pipe in. Yeah, just Perfectly. squashed just, it. Yeah, just squashed it in. And the hair, back of the hair hanging out with a couple of bits well, of hair. Well, that's on breaking it. the, the yeah, frame. Yeah, that's right. And this why, is why does that break the frame? Because he can. Because he can and wants to. And you can see here this hand-drawn uh, yeah. frame here. This yeah. would have caused the copy guy a little bit of a headache because it's got a bow edge in it. Yeah. So what they would have done to compensate was keep anything here away from that edge because yeah. it's crooked. And this is just only pencil, isn't it? Yeah. Beautiful, isn't it? I mean, it, it's got such a freshness about it. Just mm. straight pencil. Look at those lips. And the eyes. So this is um, um, George Fitzpatrick, organiser for St Margaret's Hospital, Sydney. Is that the one that you work with, St Margaret's? Yeah. Okay. He organised art shows and mm-hmm. stuff like that. Oh, he's the bloke who started art unions. You yep. know, those, those um, raffles to buy houses. Yeah. Okay. There's a beautiful geezer face there. Yeah. It's almost like sculpture, isn't it? Yeah. It's got a this sculptured one, look. This one looks to me a little bit... Does that remind you of a chameleon? Where the eyes are sort of looking pie-eyed, you know, they're looking a different direction. Come a, come a, come a, come a, come a chameleon. <laughs> we come and go. Yeah, well, this It's is... all 90s here, folks, so don't worry. Yeah. So this is another boy High Court judge, George Beebe. Well, talk of boy George, boy George, 150 years ago, 100 years ago, 90 years ago. More people. Now look at this. I now, love this. This is Sir Mungo McCullum, and he's obviously got, he's, he's been Oxford, Glasgow, he's at all the universities. He's a That's modern That's not literature. the new Mungo McCullum. No. I did the new Mungo McCullum. This, this might be one times. of his relatives. Possibly. Anyway, yeah, but, but yeah. isn't that a wonderful picture? Look at look at that bloody moustache going over here. Mm. Uh, it's it's sort of so unfinished and yet it's beautiful. Yeah. It's almost perfect. Again, you know, for a newspaper, they yeah. would accommodate this, so they give it the the copy editor is very very scared to come anywhere close that's to charcoal. these lines. Isn't it? That's charcoal. Those dark mm, stuffs. That's, that's probably ink. No, it's that's charcoal. 
The, the See on the sides. See on the sides. Now that is an ink wash. Yeah, reckon? Yep. Okay. And this is an ink line with a brush. But what about these squares? They're you not, can't do that with a brush, can you? With a square brush. Mm. Okay, well you know. A broad tip brush. And this guy is um, crayon. Weaver. He, he's the Minister for Mines in the New South Wales. In the, in the Baven yeah. government. Yes, and the seat, look at this. This, 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 is, this is classic brush. It can get very thick he's, lines. He's a stipendary magistrate thin. with the cops in Sydney. And he's got moles. He's got moles, all right. Those uh, exaggerated moles that some people look at and you think, you know, ooh, uh, you know, Uncle Buck, here's two bits, go downtown and get a rat to chew it off. <laughs> yeah, but look at, the, look at the distance between the nose and the mouth and, and, yeah, and the ears. He hadn't even bothered to finish drawing it. He's okay, just... so you look at the photographs in the morgue, right, yeah. in the photo library of this guy. Yeah. Or uh, you would have, if you've done it from life, then, yeah. you know, it's, it could be a l little bit different. But basically, you find something that tells a little bit of a story. So this is a story that uh, Mr. Finey wants to tell yeah. about this fellow here, and, McMahon. And look at the angle of the neck going over there and then the head straight. Well, again, happening. you must break yeah. symmetry. Because yeah. if you do not break symmetry, yeah. what you're essentially making is a box within a box within a box. Well, that's why... Because the outside of here, if you have a whole box of... Ants on a page. If you no have too to much read. of a sense of design about your work, it tends to be symmetrical. You know what I mean? No, but no. Symmetry is one element of graphic design. Yeah, but around this time, a lot of the elements of graphic design yeah. were being ported into um, uh, the design world from, like, fine yeah, art or from film. Yeah, but, but you had you had um, uh, Art Nouveau around about this time, didn't you? In Australia, anyway, because we were late. No, and Art Nouveau is uh, eighteen. Yeah, but, yeah, but it, it got here yeah. later. La Belle Epoque. Yeah. I'm just saying how this is such organic shapes, such like the well, eyes. This of... is brush. Yeah. Brush is, yes. is like, there's two ways of holding a brush. You can't hold it like a pen. So you either hold it like a like a Japanese calligrapher. Yeah. Like perfectly, perf if yeah. I had one here, I'd show Like you. a rapidograph. Y yeah. yeah. Like absolutely perpendicular to the surface of the paper. Yeah. Or you can put it at a slide angle, but it can never be at the same angle as a pencil because no. obviously it'll no. create a very, very wide line. So um, it is a beautiful way. Uh, 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 it's almost a very com contemplative um, uh, brush, more so than, say, pen. Um, and he's got a lovely uh, technique here. Another guy that used uh, brush until he used squeaker was uh, uh, your mate. Crumb? Um, no, um, Wick. Yes, oh yeah, yeah. Um, so this is another, uh, let's see, he's a, a registrar in bankruptcy. Norman Lockhart, registrar. In, in bankruptcy. In bankruptcy in New South Wales. You can <laughs> see, like, he's he, seen it all. He, this guy. Yeah, but he'd see a lot of work. But look at the front face of that wig. So that's done with a brush. That is done with a brush. Okay, all right. I, I, I thought it was, um, you know... Um, no, you do different... Now, uh, this is one of my favourite pictures of all time because when you do all that's these... That's quite a big picture, that. It's been reduced down. It has, but I'm just saying that if you... Like, this is the guy we saw before, and he's really got into him now. Um, and there's Lang with the bridge, the Sydney Harbour Bridge moustache and teeth. Uh, and... The, I mean, when you do a, a group portrait, mm -hmm. you've got to have some... You, you, you just can't have heads there. You've got to have their bodies and they, and they have to have their own overall organic shape besides the, each individual head. And I think Well, they're, they're, they're there in a situation. Yeah. And, so, like, he's got the little it, guy down here who's just like a little kid. You've got this guy here who looks like he's a head of a... He, he looks like a puppet, like a... a, a a doll. Yeah, well, that's the, also because he's actually, it looks he, like he's, he's not he, sitting on, but he's sitting near yeah. the legs of uh, yeah. this fellow here. But each, if you look so, at every head head in that picture. And he's being propped up by this sort of uh, bridgey type of Yeah, if structure. you look at every head in that picture, this guy looks the most normal. <laughs> that's saying something. And look at this guy. Look at his eyes. Just mm. He's, you know. Anyway, let's move on. Bring it down a little bit. Yep. So this is a nice combination of, of line work and and um, and uh, form. Yeah. This guy obviously talks a lot. 
Now, is that that's done in, in pencil or crayon? Yeah. Is that done in, um, you reckon that's done in um, Conte? <laughs> no. no, no, Conte is too dusty. This is actually a wax crayon okay, to get yes. this effect. You're picking up the grain yeah, yeah, of the yeah. paper. Like, like Dormier used. Yeah. Yes. Or sometimes if you're very careful, you can use a lead pencil yeah. uh, on the side or yeah. charcoal. Yeah, if, yeah but if you've, you've got to be pretty to. good. Well, charcoal has its own problems because there's yeah. smudges and things like that. The hat, how's he done that? I'm not sure. Uh, that's the same sort of technique Does as the cut, one there. Has he cut it out? Um, Has he cut it out? I'm not sure. I, I don't know. It could even be that uh, some form of zip tone, like a... Yeah, yeah, okay. He, he, he might have put something... Okay, all right. Oh, I, I don't know. But, but look look how the head goes in. I mean, it's just like a, a misshapen pear, isn't it, with mm. them all going up? Well, that's a canvas texture, but there's no there's a Can canvas texture in the tie, yeah. but there's very little texture on here. Yeah. He may have done this on a canvas board. He may have. Okay, yep. Yeah. So they would be quite big. Yes. Looking at the grain, yeah. it's probably A2 in size. A lot of the guys in those days did big stuff. Yeah, um, well, I think he they, would they have worked done... big. They all worked big because they were trained that way. Well, he, he, look, he just... He, yeah. he would experiment yeah. now look, with look, different techniques. Look at techniques. this eyebrow going over to here. Look, mm. just, just, and, and the chin pushing out and breaking the line. I would love to have seen the pencil sketches. Pre yeah. The preliminary sketches. And, and look at this and guy. Look at, look, look at the sour puss on this yeah. guy. He was the chief Simpl of railways. Simplify shapes. Yeah. But the thing is, the great thing is that when I look at these pictures, I, I can imagine what they were actually like. I, yeah, get this, he's, he's actually, I get this aftertaste, which you don't get, and I don't well, know what he, these he, guys look like. You don't. Well, they look like this. I know. But he, <laughs> he, he, he's actually more than the uh, li the likeness. This is a good likeness. Of, yeah. Um, booth. Yeah. Um, he, more than the likenesses, he's got actually a story, and the story is not just the sum out to some total that's, of hang on, that's the son of the bloke he started. The, so it's not so, just the. the that's the son. Uh, who started um, the Salvation Army? That's, that's, yeah. that's Bramwell Booth. Good. So it's not just the sum total of all of these little elements here, which tell the story. Yeah. It's the actual the body language, the expression, yeah. Yeah. and everything else that he that he um, you know utilizes to tell a little story with a visual, with a with a caricature. So caricature to him is a vehicle. It's not an end result in itself. It's a journey of. Uh, Storytelling, telling a little story about these uh, people. Well, this is Alfred Meeks, who is um, He's chairman of the story, AMP Society, members. and he was also president of the City Mission, Sydney City Mission, and the former president of the YMCA. Yeah. And you know, it, it's a lovely picture. And this is oh. this is the president, secretary of the Kalgoorlie Race yeah. Club, Charles Cropper. Yeah, but you can see and, the and peanut the, shape here. Yeah, which yeah. is beautiful. Yes. Look at those ears. Again, you know, the ears are flapping. They're great. Yes, yeah, so it's a uh, watercolour and pencil. Yeah. It's nice. The peanut shape, that's great, isn't it? You don't see that much. So this is uh, paint. That That's paint. That yeah. would be, uh, like, from the look of it, it's probably... John Mullen? Oh, gosh, that could be oil. That could be anything. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure what that is. Yeah. At the time, there was a lot of uh, experimentation with uh, illustration in oil. Um, certainly from American publications because they had the, the yeah. technology for colour printing. Now, this is just, he's just gone nuts with line, hasn't he? Look at the eyes and the chin. And, and this is... Well, it doesn't seem to this be... This is long before, I mean, this is of its time. This, this, this sort of stuff yeah, is of its time. Yeah, patterning and, and uh, two-dimensional. Yeah, and that tie is of its time too. I, I've seen work like that done in the 30s in America, but... Um, well, he was, he was very confident and very exuberant. Beautiful, beautifully and, designed. Um, and look at this guy. Likes to have fun. This is Sydney. This one looks very much like This is Sydney Smith. He was the Minister of Mines and Agriculture. And he was in the Parks uh, Ministry. But look at him. Mm. Look at those eyes. Yeah, beauty. And that great nose. Yeah, there's an Uncle Scrooge. The nose looks like it's organic growing out of a rock head. Mm. Tiki yeah. head. Yeah, it's good. Well, this is Scullin, the Prime Minister. Yep. And this is one of my favourites. This is the, um, the chairman of the Commonwealth Bank. Look at those eyes. Yeah. Look at that mouth. It's just, I don't know, he's having a go at him, 
but they re they retain their humanity, mm. and that's hard in caricature. Well, it's also if you're given the the time as well. This is during the Great Depression. Yeah. So you know these people are always every single day of the week, yeah. every day in the papers, yeah. always. Yes. And see how the tide the tide's going in that way, and the mm. beard's going that way. I love that. Yeah, you want variety of direction yeah. and angle. And That's one of my favourite pictures of makes it... of uh, of, um, of this artist. And this is I oh, look at this. This is a former headmaster of Sydney High School. <laughs> look yeah. at those eyes. <laughs> and what would you call that? A twist? That's not a peanut. That's a twisted. Um... That's a twisty. Yeah, that's, that's a twist. He's twisty. twisted. The, he's twisted the shape. Beautiful, isn't it? Pack of twisties now. Yeah. Look at that nose going in that direction. Yeah. Big fat lines. They're strong, aren't they? They're really fat lines. Yeah. Well, I mean, the the idea of this is exploring different techniques for different people. Yeah. Just um, caprice. A, a capricious yeah. use of materials for the subject. Oh, he, he, he doesn't have, a, a, you know, even this one here doesn't have a, yeah, um, yeah, a, yeah. a, a border. Yeah. So, you know, he'll play with different shapes yeah. and different Fine ideas. Finally, he was fearless. Materials. He was fearless. He didn't give a, a stuff. He didn't well, give a stuff. You know, credit to the newspaper that they didn't sort of hold him into a. Well, he got into all sorts of trouble when he worked for style. Packer, when he worked for the, uh, the first Packer. And apparently he went Everybody out. Got into trouble. Yeah, but he he used to come in barefoot, you see. And he he was one of the first artists to go live up in the uh, Blue Mountains, and he he inspired um, Norman Lindsay to follow him to go and live in the Blue Mountains. Uh, finally, had all these kids too, you see. And he became really left wing during the Depression. During the 30s, he worked for all sorts of stuff, and he went really, really left wing. He always was left wing, but um, he's working for the right wing press. He used to go out, he, he had a fight once and he went out in the street because they wouldn't let him in because he didn't have shoes on, so he did his cartoon out in the gutter, out, out the front of the, the newspaper shop. Look at that mouth. The whole bottom of the So this is the leader of, of Western Australia, it's the leader of the opposition in the Senate yeah. in 1926. It's all up here, and the mouth is just at the bottom. Yeah. He, he looks very Englishy, doesn't he? You know? Uh -huh. a, like army type. Old school. Yeah. Ah, there he is. Penfolds. What's this? Nothing Stationers and printers. Aphorism of rhetoric and that the perfection of art consists in concealing art. Yeah, it consists well, of concealing art. Campbell said that. Well, I like his soup. Did, did you? He was always coming to Campbell's. I look, remember these things? They, they, you could buy them then. What you are know? they? Oh, you, you know, the school thing, you know. Who came top of the class and who, who got the? Oh, who was the ducks? Yeah, all that stuff. Yeah, the ads. Who's the hall monitor? <laughs> well, hall, well, these are interesting. Look, high quality the art. Head work. prefect. Look, look. The head boy. Look, come here. You'll be interested. This is art stuff. Look. Mm. How what, much? Seven what, and nine pence. What's this? Is this a cup? What would you need an egg cup for in an art thing? New, new in lac. Brush lacquer, lacquer. What brush do you, lacquer. Do you mix it in here? Lacquer is made from beetles' wings. Colours are used decoration of white wood pulpware. Anthony Horton's price per outfit. Anthony Horton's. It's uh, like. Oh, it's a big shop. They also sell, they sell food. Stencil. Food with an exclamation mark. Yeah. No, again, this is the Great Depression. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Food was big. Food. Yeah. <laughs> Remember food. <gasps> Oh, well. Am Amor Limited, medalist and designers. So it's interesting well, look, who is they're keeping a Catholic this work. book look, look, to this be is published. All, this is all Catholic. Who's publishing this book? Ah, that is kind of an indication of who's buying this book. This book is going to school libraries. I don't think so. I think it would be. I think school libraries are buying this book. It's 15 shillings. Limited. You get it every, um, what is it, once a month? Per yeah. annum. Fifteen shillings for the whole year. That's pretty well, good. Well, there's only uh, all for one. It's three. one and three per number. Uh, it's four per year. Yeah. You can't count. Okay. Well, that's it. There he is. Let's have a nice look. Caricatures by George Finely. Yeah. Finey. And 
and um, you know, obviously it's out of print. You could, you could probably find a copy under the lino of some old <laughs> building that's about to be but, pulled down. But I'm, I'm impressed because Australians are very snobby. I went to the to the um, uh, the National Portrait Gallery a few years ago, and I met the bloke who was running it. And um, they, at that time, they only had two caricatures in the whole of the place, and that's about ten years ago. Mm. And this is this an art magazine. Art in Australia is, a, is still in publication. Yeah, and, and plus it, it, it was the premier art magazine of its time. Yeah, it still is pretty much. Yeah, and I'm just saying, and, and they did an, an issue on a caricature, so I'm just impressed. Yeah, good But good he, w- he was, I, I would say in, in, in the time he was working, because the U- Europeans and the Americans were doing great work, but I think, I think he led the way for a few years, I really do. I think he was, he was the... Um, um, the ducks. Yeah, of, 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 his, of his time, yeah. The head okay. Perfect. This head is, boy. This is um, uh, Franz Cantor and. Uh, I'm Franz Cantor. Oh, okay. And are you? I'm Jim Bridges. And what do you do again? Uh, I'm the founder and president of the Australian Cartoon Museum. And what do you do in the Australian Cartoon Museum? Well, we wait for you to come. No, mostly, apart from that. And then you, you do some you, work. You dig up. Lino, mm. and you yeah. find these things. No, yeah, you've got a, right. a collection of over ten thousand books, yes. publications, yes, and we want Australian and, and universe and um, other universal artists. Um, artists and we want to send up a school. We want to set up a school, don't we? You will set up a school, yeah. and you know, if you want to support the museum, you can uh, do that by going to our Patreon page. Yes, or um, at the very least, subscribe to this video. At the very says, least, as he reaches for his glasses. Yeah. that he dropped. Okay, well, this is Jim Bridges, and... We'll catch you uh, next time. And what's your name again? Uh, France Cantor. And France Cantor, and we'll, we'll catch you next time, and uh, see Just you later. later. Bye-bye. Thanks for the sour persimmons, cousin. <laughs>